Okay, this video took a while to make because a lot of people ask me to talk about this subject, but I wanted to do it correctly, so I took my time. And I think it's pretty important because, guys, I think I'm in love. We are talking about Stalker Gamma today. But before I go too much into details and start reviewing the mod, I want to talk a little bit about Stalker history. Well, Stalker modding history. I'm gonna try to go quickly. So basically you had the three base Stalker games. A lot of mods have been done for these three games, like to improve the graphics, the bugs, whatever. Then we had a first big mod, in a way, that was called Call of Chernobyl, that was basically merging the three games into one big open world. And this big open world, I'm skipping a lot of steps here, so please don't yell at me, it became in the end Stalker Anomaly, the base of all the modding that we know today. And people are using this base of Stalker Anomaly for two things. The first one is creating new linear stories, so stories with a main questline that are actually telling something. I think that Dead Air is a good example, Road to the North is a good one too. And a lot of people on the other side are simply playing Stalker Anomaly as a big sandbox pretty much. You have a main questline, but like you can pretty much do whatever you want in this world. And people are gonna add a ton of add-ons to Anomaly to pretty much fine-tune and customize the game to their liking. And these add-ons cover pretty much everything, like the weapons, the graphics, the gameplay, bugs fixing, quality of life, there's like absolutely everything. This heavy use of add-ons to customize and improve your game can be a little bit complicated, especially because there are thousands of add-ons to choose from, and making them all work together, there's, there's many conflicts, there's many bugs, it can be a little bit daunting. So what started to appear is people curating their own add-on packs and sharing them with people so you could play a modded improved game in a very easy way pretty much, without having to do all these choices by yourself. A very popular one, if you remember, was 1G Riot's M immersion packs, for example. And more recently, we started to see appearing even bigger mod packs, in a way, and I think that EFP, Escape from Pripyat, is the best example so far, of people creating a ton of add-ons together and adding their own and fine-tuning absolutely everything to work as not a new game, but a most. And I think that's the point that's important. It's basically people curating and fine-tuning and working on hundreds of different add-ons together to make a game that fits their vision, their gameplay, what they like, pretty much, and sharing it with others. And EFP, as the name implies, is a very slick and smooth and heavily militarized version of Stalker, for example. And now we finally arrive to Gamma. And I wanted to do this long winded introduction because it's gonna help explain and you to understand why I'm so much in love with this mod pack. Rokitash, the developer of Gamma, is basically designing a new game that fits exactly to the dot the way I love to play Stalker, the gameplay I love, the style I love, and that's, that's why, that's why to me right now it's highly subjective, I know, but it's the best Stalker mod you can play right now in my opinion. That being said, now let's go a little bit into detail so you can judge by yourself if you haven't tried it. The first thing you're gonna notice is that that mod pack has a freaking installer. You don't have to do anything. It's gonna download all the add-ons for you and install everything and you just have to play. Like, you cannot make things simpler. And the second huge thing with this installer is that you also use it to update your mod pack. Grokitash, the developer of the mod pack, is being extremely active, adding new stuff, bug fixing, listening to the community, and every time there's a new update, you simply have to click here, and that's it. You get all the new updates, all the fixes, and you go back to playing. Like, how amazing is that? Okay, now let's talk about the game itself and its vision, in a way. So, on the surface, you have these big economical changes in the way the game works. You cannot buy guns and you cannot buy armors anymore at the traders. You're gonna have to find them, loot them, and repair them to use for yourself. Add to this that most stashes are empty now and you're only gonna find something if someone gave you the coordinates of the stash as a reward from a mission, for example. 
Crafting is also heavily incentivized in the sense that all the recipes are unlocked from the beginning. Crafting recipes and cooking recipes. And now I know what you're gonna tell me. Okay, fine, but like, in what way is it different from other mods that did like very similar things? It's actually pretty easy. The way all of these changes are implemented forces you to explore more, to get more missions. It gives you like clear objectives that you can give to yourself to achieve. It gives you a purpose. It makes the game very enjoyable to play. And it's not grindy. It's actually very fair. It's still very hard and challenging, but there's always this sense of progression and fairness. And I don't know. I don't know how to explain it exactly, but like, these changes and the way they're implemented made the most satisfying way of playing Stalker I know of. A good example of this is the food and drink and sleep system, for example. Because like now, you have all the cooking recipes, all the food that you can make from mutants parts is much more interesting and it's gonna be like one of the main ways you're gonna stay alive. So it forces you to go on more mutant hunts and cooking. And after a long day, you need to sleep to get well rested. But your character actually needs to get tired before you could get to sleep. You could like drink vodka or take sleeping pills, but you're not gonna get like as much as a good sleep. I don't know, it, there's like so many little things like this. I cannot cover everything in one video, but like it makes the game much more realistic and very immersive and very satisfying to play at the same time, which is like actually something very, very hard to do when you think about it. I don't know exactly what add-ons are doing this, but like your character is actually a joy to play. The way the animations work, the way you move, the way you handle weapons, like everything feels very smooth and very realistic at the same way. I don't know, it's the first time Stalker doesn't feel clunky and feels very satisfying to play in a way. Getting shot, for example, will make you shake and blind and deaf for a while. It feels like super realistic. It's all these little details that make the game so satisfying. Add to this a ton, and I mean a ton, of quality of life improvement, from gameplay to inventory management to companion, to simply the HUDs, the minimap, like the PDA, like everything, like absolutely everything, like the this whole mod pack is just a joy to play, pretty much. There is a skill system that's gonna improve your character traits the more you do certain tasks, like carrying a heavy object, doing melee attacks, things like this. The damage, armor, and ballistic system has been completely reworked and feels actually really good, really balanced. You're gonna need to prepare for whatever you want to do. If you know that you're gonna fight like heavily armored, well-equipped enemies, you better have the gear to do it, and it's gonna make the fight easy. But if you don't have the right gear, eh, you're gonna get wrecked. And that's, that's progression, that's things to do in the game, that's something to look forward. Everything is very well implemented, and again, it feels very challenging, but very fair and balanced at the same time. There is also a ton of new features, like uh, new anomalies, new dynamic anomalies. There's patches of radiation a little bit everywhere, so you have to be more careful and find like a good armors, at least like some radiation protection pretty pretty fast. The Geiger counter is very important. There's uh, RF receiver missions that are actually interesting and rewarding to do. There's a ton of new artifacts with all kinds of perks. There's a new device that lets you fuse, repair, and improve artifacts. It completely like expands the gameplay around them. Now, hunting for artifacts is not just a money thing, but it's actually something that you can completely incorporate to the gameplay you want to have. And it's really exciting, and there's a ton of new possibilities of things to do. There is a lot of new mutants too, and they're perfectly integrated in the gameplay. They feel that they've always been here and they add more variety. It's, it's very well done. So yeah, I think that's it. I didn't go too much into details on all the exact mechanics and how things works and all the precise add-ons that are used, because I don't think it's necessary. My only advice is try this mod pack. It feels amazing, it plays amazing, Grokitage keeps updating and fixing stuff. Right now, it's an impressive 273 add-ons, perfectly fine-tuned together to give you an amazing experience. It's one of the best projects in the space, and there's nothing better to play while you wait for Stalker 2. I know that's a big endorsement, but hey, I told you at the beginning, I think I'm in love right now. Okay, I'll see you guys soon. Thank you.